Woo, man, it's 100 degrees out here today. What's going on? Thrills in a block. I got a surprise for you guys. Check this out. The man, the myth, the legend. With Sylvester. So the, the legend is here. I'm gonna do a little bit of quick clean on these headlights. A little spit polish. So you guys sit back and watch the show. I don't know, have you ever done this process before? I've never done it. So, I just got some water here. Sometimes I put a little bit of baby shampoo in here just to help with lubrication. This is 1500 grit wet paper. Okay. So we'll take this 1500 grit, get it nice and wet, and we're just going to kind of scuff the surface of this light. And it's going to remove this oxidation that has been okay. plastered there from the sun. Do I, need to, do I need to pull that off? Would that help if I did? or? Okay. It's going to get replaced anyway, so it's broken. Fail blazer. So what can I do to help? I don't know, you're, you're good. All I'm doing here is just kind of working the surface of the light. You'll see that yellow film starting to run off? Yep. Hit it with some Meguiar's M105 polish. Okay, so that's got some grit in it. Yep, with the rotary. All right, well, I use the blue action polisher. I wanted to do this, but it kind of scared me because all I'm going to do is to make it worse. But then that polish is what yeah, does the trick. All right, I got them panicking now. It's like, what are you doing to my headlights? <laughs> I'm never gonna get home now. I can't see. I can't see the road. My go-to here.
gas and it just is. Yeah, that thing looks brand new now. Oh uh, yeah. That'll make the LEDs even brighter. Get more residue off of there. Got pretty back, far back in there. Yeah. yeah, that's underneath the hood line anyway. You don't even see that. Well, look at that. Well, Sylvester, thanks you, man. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> Give me some instruction that says. So you'll uh, always have the rotary, your poly, well, your dual action polisher are always on the surface. The rotary is just one that doesn't rotate. You want on the edge? Yeah. Your pad. Um, so on the, in this case, you're always going to use the pad flat, and you always okay. want it on the surface when you turn it on. Your speed control is back there where your thumb is, it's mm -hmm. already down at one. Okay. So I'll put it on one when I turn it on, and then in this case, since we've already got the polish on, which I used to do like one to two, I printed it to about four or five. And you want to work your polish roughly an inch per second. Okay. So if you think of one inch line per second, so it's not real fast, it's kind of a slow progression across the face. Okay. Of well, you can slap my wrist when I'm doing it wrong, because I'm, I'm probably going to get it wrong. This is the power. Yep. And you crank that speed up there. To hold it flat, flat? Yeah, you don't have to push it a little hard. Okay. Just keep a nice little bit of pressure on there. Go ahead and crank that speed up. Go up some more. More. A little bit more. There we go. First time I've ever done something like that. You, you can tell. It, you got it. Great. So how long, how long will this stay clear like that? You think before we have to go sand and redo it? Five years. Really. Nice. Yeah. I mean, if you wash your vehicle, and I mean the soap will wash the dirt off, and it's pretty well you protect it anyway. So. Gotcha. So uh, I don't. I don't. 
Could I spray some kind of UV coating on yeah. there and it would prolong it? Or yep, you absolutely could. No hard thing. Nice. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Awesome. This is the after of the headlights. And if I were to say, man, it looks like I replaced them, but those are the same lights. They came out really good. Let's see if uh, Van Nader approves. This is the before. <laughs> this is the after. Thanks to the uh, Dan and there for swinging by the Three Wheels in a Block shop. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. We uh, made sure that he could see to get home safely since it's uh, getting a little dark outside. So this is uh, Three Wheels in a Block. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.